Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing a short tutorial on how to clear your cache in Cricut Design Space and also on your computer. So if you are having trouble with Design Space glitching and going slow, your computer is just moving slow and everything it needs a little help speeding up, just keep on watching. Okay, so now I'm here on my home screen and what you do, you need to find your file explorer. It's that little folder that where you have everything saved. I know you probably can't see it where I'm at right there. But if you can't find it, you can go to your start menu and go to file explorer and it'll be there. Or you can go here and just type in file explorer and it'll come up and click on it. Either way it go. That's how you get to it. So once your file explorer fold, uh, once your file explorer opens, you'll go down to this PC and go down to Windows Drive C. It may not say Windows; it may say something else, but just Drive C, and you click into that, and that will open up these tabs up here. So you want to go to Users, double click in it. And then here, you want to go to the name of your computer. You want to choose the name of your computer. So if you if you have um, an administrator saved on your computer, like a profile, it will be right here if it's your name or whatever. So that's what you will click into, and you'll see it right here. I have another folder right here that says public, but I don't deal with that one. I deal with the, the other one, profile. Go into that one. Okay, now that I'm into that one, here's the very first folder. It says dot cricket dash design dash space. I want to go into that folder. Okay, so I double clicked into that folder. And now in this folder, you'll see local data. That's the first one for me, local data. That's the only folder you'll go into. Okay, so we enter local data. Now here you have two, two folders inside of that. Delete them. Delete everything that's inside of that local data folder. It's deleting. Okay, everything is gone. Now I'll go back just to show you. So I came to my file explorer, I came down to Windows Drive C, I went back to users, my profile, Cricut Design Space, local data, and I deleted everything here. So there's nothing there. So now when I go open my Cricut Design Space, it should be moving pretty fast but we got a few more steps we got to do all right i am into design space i have um just my main screen open it's set up a little different now you know with all these updates but so now you go to the three dots up here at the top uh oh i'm not trying to shake the camera and you'll go to the view and select Force reload and it's gonna reload Cricut Design Space. So we'll give that a second. Okay, it reloaded to a blank canvas page. Um, not, it's not quite done yet. Looks like, but even though it's not even fully loaded, look how fast it's working. Like, mm, let me see. I don't know. I'm going to go to upload. That's my, my wash day shirt. That's some family pictures, y'all. Get out of my business now. I was uh, making something for a family member. But look how fast they uploaded that. I can add a text box. I can open up the text box and... You know, I mean, open up the font box, change the font real fast. Um, 
Let's see if I can. Kamika, I have got the knife. I mean, everything is just, um, if I try to do an offset, I know sometimes that takes a while. Look how fast. It offset. If I hit apply, oh my God, that's fast. Okay. Change the color of the offset. Um, highlight. I'll say if I'm going to slice it real quick. It sliced it so fast. Look at that. Undo. And just say if I want to flatten. There we go. I mean, as you can see, it moves just a lot faster. At first, I would try to move this circle over here and it'll just be stuck stuck right there and then it'll disappear and there's just be a box right there and i'm trying to move it trying to move. it would move so if you have any trouble with cricut design space try clearing your cache and see if that helps now on to the next part of the video i will be showing you how to clear your cache on your computer so keep on watching Okay, so the final part of this video, I will be showing you how to clear your cache on your computer. So, I am just on my home screen. Once again, I closed all my tabs. I don't have anything open. The only thing I have open is Google Chrome. I have one tab open. That's it. Um, I work from home, and that's a lot of information on the computer every day. And so I clear my cash at work sometimes two to three times a day, depending on how busy it is and if my computer is slowing down because it stores temporary files on your computer when you go into all these different websites. And even if you delete stuff, some stuff is still saved on your computer and you want to get rid of all that. And I recommend to clear your cash at least once a week, if you're using your computer a lot, um, I mean, you know, regularly throughout the week, if you use it a lot to design and all that type of stuff, and you notice it's slowing, a da slowing down a lot, um, once a day or every other day or something, put it on a schedule. Clearing your cache, it will not delete any of your projects. It will not delete any of your work. As long as you do it right, it will not delete your saved passwords. Now, you may have to log back in to websites. Um, but if you got your password saved, it'll come right back up. So what you do, you go to your Chrome browser. Everything else is closed. And you go up to the top right corner. Oh, I'm checking it. And you click the three dots. You want to go down to more tools. It'll open up another box. You go over to clear browsing data. And it will pop up this box. Now here you have some already checked and some not. I don't know how yours will look. But make sure that you have browse. I, I make sure I have all these checked and I leave these unchecked. So I have the browsing history, the download history, the cookies and the cache, site settings and host app data. Need, don't need any of that. What I don't want to delete is my autofill form data. So my address, every time I have to put my address, I don't want to keep typing it. So it pops up and I can just it auto fills on forms when I'm online. I don't want to delete that. So I don't check that box. And also my saved passwords. I have 357 passwords for different websites and I don't want to delete those. So I leave those empty, but I check everything else. Let's pause it go. Okay. And I hit clear data. And it will, sometimes it'll take a second. It didn't take long for me because I've already done it right before i thought about uh showing y'all the steps and so it was fast but sometimes it'll just sit there and spin for a minute but if it do that's fine and then it'll come to this so then you'll just close out of that make sure nothing is open not not a calendar nothing and then you'll restart your computer start power and restart and once this computer restarts it should be moving a lot faster it should be things should be moving a lot smoother um sometimes i know my computer is oh i didn't have everything closed 
I know my computer is old, years old. So when it first started up, it take a little minute for it to load everything. But as long as I keep my cache cleared and keep everything, you know, get rid of all old files and stuff, it runs pretty smoothly for me. I mean, and, and as long as my internet is working fine. So um, I really hope this video helps somebody. I mean, I know it's the little things that count. It's the little things that count with me. So I really hope that this video can help. Say thank you all again for watching my video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.